This beautiful couple has been in my ward for a while. They expressed a desire to me to be married in the temple. And with these unprecedented times, the plans were changed, and here we stand today. And with the goal of the temple firmly in your minds, what I want you two to do for the next few minutes is just to stare at each other. And just look deep into each other's eyes. And as you do that, all the surroundings will fade away, and you will realize that this is actually your dream because of who is standing in front of you and not where you stand necessarily. Marriage has been divinely designed as an eternal and everlasting covenant. The Bible teaches us that a covenant is an agreement between God and man. In the marriage covenant, God affixes the terms which men and women readily accept. As we form this sacred union, God is at the apex of the triangle, and the man and the woman form the rest of the perfect triangle. Amanda and Tanner, as you both strive to grow closer to God, you will naturally gravitate towards Him and towards one another in that triangle until eventually you become one in purpose with each other and with God. Here we are gathered in this unique environment in a unique way. This will be definitely something you can talk about with your family for generations to come. As you have dreamed of your wedding and ran the scenario over and over in your mind, I'm sure this wasn't exactly it. <laughs> In our Heavenly Father's plan for happiness, a man and a woman can be sealed to one another for time and all eternity in holy temples, just as this couple plans on doing as soon as the temples reopen. There is another building that is deemed by the church to be most sacred, and that building is your home. The home is truly the core of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Our homes are most sacred because they are created as a man and a woman and joined together to form a family unit. And this couple make covenants today, they will begin their life together and they will create a home. And regardless of where they live or what they're doing, they will always have that home. In Matthew 19, 6, we read, Wherefore, they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. When we use the covenants that we make with our Heavenly Father as He intends, our capacities are expanded, our marriages are magnified, and we know happiness in this life and in the eternities. As a married couple bonds, they think together, they act together, they rejoice as one, and they face the challenges of life together and overcome them as one. In just a few moments, you will be husband and wife. <laughs> what a great <laughs> response. <laughs> your spouse will become the most important person in your life. You both come from different family backgrounds with different traditions and different relationships in those families. But today your spouse becomes your most important family member. A spouse is the only person other than your Father in heaven whom we have been commanded to love with all our hearts. The scriptures teach, Thou shalt love thy wife or thy husband with all thy heart and cleave unto him or her and none else. The phrase none else teaches us that no person, activity, or possession should ever take precedence over the marriage relationship. Remember that love and friendship are equally important in a marriage. A famous person once said, it is not the lack of love, but the lack of friendship that makes an unhappy marriage. Tanner Arthur Nelson and Amanda Martinez, you have taken one another by the right hand in a token of the vows you will now enter into the presence of God and these witnesses. Tanner Arthur Nelson, do you receive Amanda Martinez as your lawfully wedded wife? And do you of your own free will and choice solemnly promise as her companion and lawfully wedded husband that you will cleave unto her and none else, 
that you will observe all the laws, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining to the holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish her as long as you both shall live? <clears throat> I do. <laughs> Amanda Martinez, do you receive Tanner Arthur Nelson as your lawfully wedded husband? And do you, of your own free will and choice, solemnly promise as his companion and lawfully wedded wife that you will cleave unto him and none else? that you will observe all the laws, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining to the holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish him as long as you both shall live. I do. By virtue of the legal authority vested in me as an elder in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I pronounce you Tanner, Arthur Nelson, and Amanda Martinez, husband and wife, legally and lawfully wedded for the period of your mortal lives. May God bless your union with joy in your posterity and a long life of happiness together. And may He bless you to keep the sacred vows you have made this day. These blessings I invoke upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You need to kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Anciently, exchange of rings represented the exchange of wealth. In our time, it has grown to be much more than that. Tanner and Amanda, as you wear your rings through the years of your marriage, I want you to consider this. Your wedding rings are composed of the most precious metals. The gold in Amanda's ring is one of the most pure and precious metals known to man. After mining, the gold is separated from the ore through a process known as amalgamation. Once the amalgam is formed, it is heated by, by what is often referred to as the refiner's fire. The fire boils off the unwanted elements and leaves behind the purified metal. As you begin your marriage, you are like the ore. And as you strive together, you will become one or amalgamated. Amanda's ring is adorned by a beautiful diamond. We seek for stones which, with purity and clarity, and traditionally the absence of defects, Amanda and Tanner, the last thing I'm going to say is as you go through your life, your hands will go old and wrinkled, but the rings are an everlasting sign of the tokens that you have made today. 